leave that alarm, come over here and set off the light. That's the highest number card. Validate to us that you're inside this house. Hope it gave us the highest. I have our light went out and shut off. Whatever's in here is strong. Very smart. No way. Are you out there in the living room? I see you. Josh. Please come touch me. Jennifer. Okay. What should I do? Um, just keep talking to me. No way! Oh my gosh. Say Sean. Now. Oh! I feel like I brought some of this on and I actually physically saw my own demons in the cemetery up the road one night. I like physically saw like my demons. I was using the ghost tube app, and now they're talking to me intelligently, like answering me. The night that I went up to the cemetery, it's probably about three or four in the morning. We were having some issues, and I was just, I'd been really depressed and stuff lately, and I had left home for a couple days. I just didn't want to go back to the house yet, and I don't know why I went to the cemetery, but I went to the cemetery. I went there, and I just parked my truck, and I was sitting there and uh, I just started seeing some weird stuff. And it was raining. I remember it was raining and I had the windshield wipers on. It was so creepy because my main demon, I would call him, had a, like a demon face and he was talking to me, but his mouth wasn't moving. I could hear what he was saying in here. And he was just saying basically without saying it. But he was saying basically like, are you ready to come with me? Are you ready to come with us? I'm not going to heaven type thing and it was just really creepy. So I ended up leaving there because I was pretty creeped out. When I went home, I just went to bed and like, I'll never forget that. And I feel like since then, it's, I've had some kind of attachment. Behind it is a abandoned house. There was some witchcraft, pentagrams and stuff like that that in there and the one guy I worked with said oh you should go to that house and check it out there's pentagrams he's like it's really creepy let's go to this abandoned house behind where I work and we used it first there and we got a lot of stuff this one is the first video I actually heard a demon's voice or a man's voice on and I thought it was the guy I was dating and it says it before him and it says exactly what he's getting ready to say before he says it. That is not him, it's the end. I think I'm kind of addicted a little bit to it now, and I don't like that. There's some things I've done that you probably wouldn't approve of. I felt guilty about that. I was angry with him. Like, I have a lot of anger and stuff right now, and a lot of hurt. Dislike. Yeah, well, I dislike you. You see the horns? The goat head, these are the horns. There's the goat head. I think that kind of like provoked them a little bit. I feel like they like when I get like that and they, they feed off of that. It's intensified quickly within the past couple weeks. Like to where I'm hearing them without the app. The only reason I reached out to you guys the other day is because I'm actually physically hearing them in my room talking and they knock. They've knocked on that door, and I woke up to him with the light on in my closet, standing there like this. And I remember looking at him and saying, what are you doing? He doesn't even remember being in the closet. It's the voices, the knocks. I'm getting intelligent responses now to my questions. Like, they are answering me. I feel like they're like coming out of me or something. Like, I don't, I'm scared kind of because I don't know if they're just around me or if they're actually like trying to get inside of me. And I, I don't want that. Now it's come to the point like I just don't want to be here. I really sometimes just wish I wouldn't wake up, you know? So when I did the ghost tube, I didn't think that was gonna be, I didn't think it was gonna be like, turn out like it has for me. 
like, okay, well, I did this, and now I regret doing it because now am I going with, with, with them? Am I doomed? Like, am I doomed? What's your fear? <sighs> going to hell. And suffering. I've already suffered my whole life. I feel like. I feel like I'll reap my rewards one day, I will. I am grateful because I've always wanted to know, like for myself, I always knew it was real. I wanted proof for myself. I wanted them talking to me. I wanted that. I invited it. I know the person that lived here because I lived here Previous to this time, I lived here in 2012, 2013. There was a gentleman that I actually knew myself. He was a drug addict. There's a portal in my room, and I think it's in my closet. There's been other people that have passed away here. I heard somebody passed away at a fire here. There are two females that I know personally, the one that lived in here with the boyfriend. She passed away of an overdose. She supposedly died when she was in a halfway house. They had mold. Supposedly she died from that. She has come through the app. I have been threatened, been threatened. I keep hearing heart attack, like coming soon. And so I don't know if they're saying like, uh, you're, you're gonna have a heart attack. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know if they're trying to scare me, but I didn't take it directly at first, but it's creepy. And you can hear his voice. I just feel like he is he don't care anymore. He's he wants to show himself, and like he's he's around, he's everywhere. I mean, seriously, I seen I seen part of him myself. I feel like this is what's gonna help me. But I do feel like I mean I do feel like I have an attachment. I'm hoping you can tell me different. I don't know. Like ever since COVID, I. Something, something happened after COVID. I've opened my eyes. I feel like the fear is what makes them stay. And there's so many reasons that they are here right now. I was fine when I moved in, but I don't like being here alone. I just, I don't like being here by myself. I don't feel comfortable. I get really, I don't know, I just get really in my head when I'm here by myself and she's not here with me. It's just eerie. It's eerie here. And being in there by myself, like, I don't like my room. My room scares me, it definitely does. It's dark. It gets really dark in there. I'll hear stuff while I'm sleeping in the middle of the night. Like, I just don't. Most of those apps, I don't really believe they work. But this one, like, lately I've been realizing that it's kind of, it's kind of legit. Like, it says some weird stuff on there. I think ever since that day, she's just had a lot of, uh, negative energy about her. Um, I think someone followed her from that house. I try to avoid it because I don't want that negative energy on me. I know better than to provoke spirits and stuff um, and let them in. I always make sure they're aware that if I am talking to them, like, you're not allowed to stay with me, you're not allowed to follow me home, like all of that. So it does, it scares me. I don't like it as much as she does. She's real into it. Um, I'm scared, <laughs> but yeah. She's just been really sad, really angry. We fight a lot. Like, it wasn't like this when we first moved in. Just since we've been doing that stuff, she's just been in a real bad mood. I think that's the scaredest I've ever been, seeing my mom like that. Like, when she doesn't get sleep, like, I feel like this thing makes her stay awake. But she's not herself. I do think that it's attached to her in some sort of way because, and I'll ask her like, hey, what's wrong? And nothing's wrong with her. She's just, she hasn't slept and she's not acting like herself. And it scares me. It does scare me seeing her like that. I feel like that's giving them the right to possess or to use you, you know? Um, and if you don't tell them to leave you alone and she's willingly letting them do that to her, so think that she's not doing the right things when it comes to, I'm like shaking. <laughs> um, I don't think she's necessarily doing the right things when it comes to telling them they can't take over her, telling them they can't enter her body, telling them 
they aren't allowed in the house. We have provoked them before, but I don't like to do that because then they get angry. They get angry and I, I don't want anything taking me over, you know? I haven't had any experiences like this that I'm aware of for myself, but I've seen it happen to her and him and I don't know. I just don't want it happening to me at all. Whatever's here, I just want it gone. Like, I don't think she realizes sometimes, like when we're talking to these spirits, not the ones that are nice, aren't always nice, you know what I mean? Like, they play games with us. I wanna play, like, come find me, I'm in the living room, stuff like that. And I feel like it's just trying to trick us into thinking that it's not evil but I think there's a lot of evil in this house. I feel like a lot of stuff does follow her too. And I'm not saying she's a problem, it's just, the more you let negative stuff in your life like that, the more willing those negative spirits and negative energy will want to possess you. So. I feel like I have a pretty good soul and I feel like a lot of these spirits do know better than to like enter me or mess with me, but they still scare me, they do. I just won't openly admit that to them or for them to hear because if they know you're scared, they're gonna take advantage of that, so. I'm shaking right now. I think I'm nervous, but also talking about this stuff kind of just like makes me a little uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't know how you guys do that. I get in depressive states too, and I get angry, but I try not to let it overpower me. Sometimes it gets me, I'm sorry, I'm really nervous. I'm like, I might need to take a break. Yeah, we can stop. Yeah, I'm like, sorry. Yeah, can you carry that mic around with you? Yeah. I'm gonna just lay your camera roll and it's in here, in my room. I'm gonna need to get a chair. I'm thinking that's it, right? Okay, Jennifer and Riley just left the house. We're getting ready to start the investigation. According to them, there's could be multiple spirits in here and then it could be something attached to Jennifer. She's done some investigations, probably gets a little bit too aggressive with them. So later tonight, we'll bring Jennifer back in the house and see what we can document. We've got a new device here we're gonna be testing out tonight. Hi, our light went out, it shut off. And then, then the alarm went off. That thing's dead, these are completely full. These freaking things last all night long. But it's crazy that that went dead and then the alarm went off cold chills right now. Yeah, and it's humid out here. I'm getting like goosebumps. Like Are you in here with us right now? Did you just shut our light off and set our alarm off? Alarm in the bedroom, right up your steps. If that was you, could you set my alarm off right here next to me again? Come stand by it. Let's move out of this room and see if it comes back. So we got this new device from Ghost Tech we're going to be trying out tonight. So we appreciate them sending this to us. Well, okay. Every time I talk about this new equipment, the alarm goes, goes off. It goes off. That's crazy. If you're in there, can you come in here with us? But this device is Epic Box and it gives yes and no responses. So we're gonna test this out. Let's try it right now while we're getting. So I've got two playing cards here. One is 10, one is two. So we're gonna ask the spirits a question to see which one, if they can tell us which one's higher or not. Can you come over here? I've got two playing cards right here. Whoever set my alarm off, can you tell us which one of those cards is the highest? Set the light off and let us know which card's the highest.
rope to give us the highest. Oops. Hope you hear that. Yeah, I just heard something. I was in that room. Oh. A loud knock. Leave that alarm. Come over here and set off the light. That's the highest number card. Validate to us that you're inside this house. Okay, you're doing good setting that alarm off. I'm gonna stick this one right here. Whoa. Something just moved behind me. Whoa. Something just moved behind me. It was like something fell. Are you in here with us? Jennifer and Riley both said that they experienced you. We want you to come out and talk to us. It's like that. Oh, it lit up the uh, 10. Light up the high card for me. If you can see those cards, which one's the highest number? Do you want us to back out of this room? When you come in here, you don't set anything off. I'm gonna set off the yellow light. Okay, let's back out of the room. Walk over to that device to tell us which card's the highest number. Now, which one's the lowest number? I said, which one's the highest? It lit up the 10. I said, which one's the lowest? And it lit up the two twice. Really? That's awesome. Which is weird because That's crazy. it's saying two is the lowest, two lights. Thank you for setting that off. Okay, we know that you are intelligent. I'm going to move the cards. That's the other one, ain't it? Did you hear that? Yeah. That was creepy. That's the other one, ain't it? Did you hear that? Yeah. That was creepy. If we just heard you, light that up for yes. For green. That was green, right? Yeah, it was green. Why are you here? Do you need help? Yes or no? No. It keeps saying no. Why do you not need help? Are you attached to Jennifer? Are you attached to Riley? I think something's in here. Dude, this thing is like freaking very intelligent. Okay, we're gonna set this on Jennifer's by her bed. Do you come in Riley's room, yes or no? No. Jennifer did say it's always in her room. Yep. So do you go to Jennifer's room? Yes or no, do you go to Jennifer's room? Are you in this room with us right now? Box in the bedroom. That's what I'm thinking. I'm hearing. This I, music thought, I swear I just heard it. It's like it's like yeah, it's real faint. Boy, it is so much colder in here. Don't yeah, you feel I, like it's colder in here? Oh yeah, it's like yeah, it's a different temperature. It's completely sure. different. Where's the EDI? Right, right there. there. What's the EDI say? Sixty-six point four. Yeah. See earlier. Earlier, when I was in here, it was like 69. Are you in this room right now? We've got another one of those alarms you like setting off. You can set that off. I believe you're in here because this room's cold. 
Let's just go see how warm it is out there. Yeah, it's going up. You want to try that yes and no thing in Jennifer's bedroom? Okay, I've got the device in her room. Are you in this room, yes or no? Stays out there. Oh, really? That's the place the alarms are going off, and that's where we were getting responses. Are you out in the living room? Yes or no? No. Do you want us back out in the living room? I thought I just heard a voice. Did, did you? Hear yeah. Right right after he said that, did you say anything? No, did you hear it? Yeah. A voice? A voice yeah. said yes. Yeah. Did you come from the cemetery? Oh, yes. Man. Oh, wow. Did Jennifer upset you the way she was talking to you? Are you buried in the cemetery? Yes. Oh, oh my goodness. That is crazy. Oh, my battery was at 52, and right now, right after that blinked, it's like dead. I mean, it hasn't stopped, but that's freaking nuts. Okay, we'll change your battery real quick. That's the second time. Ask it if it messed with my battery real Yes. Quick. Yes. It Did answered you. It said yes. That's two batteries now, right, that you drained? We are here to talk to you and communicate with you. You can't keep draining our batteries. Yes. Are you a man? That's a yes. Are you a woman? No. No, so it's a man? Yeah. Here, you take this and just let me film. <laughs> Oh, I said no, no, it don't want you to leave. It wants you to film. Is it okay that we're here? It's, it's weird because when you're in here, it don't want to talk. So we'll step out. That's why not. It just said no. Keep do uh, Just keep recording. I gotta figure this out. Tom, uh, that's good. That's good if it knew we was coming. Did you know that we was coming? Jennifer said last night that you knew we was coming. Is that true? Are you trying to hurt somebody? Do you want to talk to Josh again? Yes or no? Set that alarm off if you're still in the living room. That is so weird how I start, you know, talking after, and then you start, and it's like they don't want to talk to me no more. Are you still in this house? Do you want us to go back to Jennifer's bedroom? There's an alarm in there. If, there is, if that's where you want, set that alarm off there on her bed. Do you want to talk to me? Yes or no? Something just moved on the floor right behind me. That's my foot. Yeah, I heard that too. It's like right, right there. Mm -hmm. Like something. I don't want to explain. Oh, are you back? Was that you that was just standing by me? Light it up green for yes or red for no? No. No. It's lighting it up green on the rim pod. Yeah. Too. Do you like playing with that? Did you make that noise? 
that rocky heard. I don't think this thing likes me. Are you messing with Sean right now? Did you do something to me? Are you trying to hurt me? Are you scared of me? What the hell was that? I don't know, something hit something in here. I don't think you like me very much. Do you hear that? Sound like a voice. Like right one. Oh, I just said green. I don't like you, Sean. What did I do to you? I've been nice to you. It said yes, so it knows that you've been nice to it. Yeah. Okay, let me. Is that this alarm? Yeah, that's me seven. You want me to leave this house? Yes or no? Do you want to talk to Sean by himself in here? Do you want two of us to leave and only one stay? You want to talk to Josh by himself? Oh, yes. Yes. Go back to the bedroom? Yeah. Take it to Ralph. I said yes. Yes. Okay, we'll go back to the bedroom. Which is crazy because the house is pretty wide open. Mm -hmm. It said no. Can you come in front of me? Let me know when you're here with me. Light that up green if you're here. I don't like walking out there. Yeah, I just heard it. In the kitchen. What the hell? Turn it off. Frick was that? I don't know. Oh, turned yeah. I haven't heard that the whole night. Uh -uh. Was that you? That's some kind of equipment. Yes or no? This camera keeps blaring out. It's freaking crazy. It's like when we leave and come in a room. Oh, yes. Is there a red light on that thing too? Oh yeah. No. Yeah. That just flashed green. There's one of them alarms you like to play with right in front of Rocky. Can you touch it? No. No. I said no, can't touch it. Uh-uh. Are you messing with our cameras? It's, it's like non-stop. I took the light up to 11. I think you're pretty smart. You know. Do you think you're smart? Than me. It said yes, Josh. Do you like messing with our cameras? And all this other stuff? Yes. Yeah, Holy crap. Totally Are you here because of Jennifer? It's always worked. Ain't that weird? Well, this one, the SD card slot was f***ing up, so I had to take the, oh, yes. what did you ask? If, uh, something about Jennifer, if he was here because of Jennifer. That's the second time it said yes. Yeah. Are you wanting to hurt Jennifer? Uh-oh. Are you related to Jennifer? Do you want to date Jennifer? You want a relationship with her? No. Do you want Jennifer to come to the other side with you? No. Are you trying to keep Jennifer safe? My freaking camera keeps blurring out. Is there something bad following Jennifer? I've now got cold chills right now. Is there a demon attached to Jennifer? Is Riley too strong for you? Riley's trying to protect Jennifer, too. Yes. 
Do you like having Riley and Jennifer in here, though, together? Yes. Something just moved out there. Mm -hmm. Are you moving stuff out there in the kitchen? Did somebody kill you? Did somebody do something bad to you? Did God send you here? Sean, let me run ghost tube. It's like you walked out there, Josh, and it stopped talking to I think me. I wants to talk to Josh. Did you follow Josh? Okay. Well, oh, yes. Yes. That's crazy. Yeah, that, that thing's off the chart, dude. That is crazy. I don't know. We're just having, like, a ton of uh, equipment issues. We um, keep getting, we didn't do that. Yeah, that's been there. Oh. Okay. Our equipment's messing up. Our SD cards are messing up. Our cameras are going in and out of focus. We're going through batteries like crazy. Well, apparently it's been using all the batteries because it's, it's been very, very active with it. It just, it said yes or no, I didn't get it. No. I don't know what it said. We're gonna leave Josh in here by himself, okay? Okay, it's just me and you in here by ourselves now. You just said yes. You like having me in here? Yes. I got this other device. I'm gonna sit right here. You can talk to me through this, okay? Were you one of the people that passed away in this building from an overdose? Are you one of Jennifer's friends that passed away? I want you to come in here and talk to me, please. The house where Josh invited the spirit with him. And it seems like ever since then, we've had some yeah. crazy shit happen. Josh seems different ever since then. I mean, could Josh have something attached to him, following him? He's just not facing it. I guess when you go in there and ask it. It just seems different, you know? I mean, we've had some bad crap happen lately. It's weird because the living room, Jennifer's room, and Riley's room, it seems to be more active. When you come in this room, it's not so much. Gene. Gene. Oh, whoa. Who's walking? Gene, is that you? Did you die at the cemetery? Yes. Oh, wow. Gene, did you attach yourself to Jennifer from the cemetery? I said, Gene, is that you? That lit up, yes. <gasps> Again, yes. Gene, can we come back out to the cemetery tonight? Will you talk to us out there? Yes. Unfreaking believable. This piece of equipment is absolutely unbelievable. Gene, are you affecting our equipment inside this house? Are you trying to make it hard so we cannot film you? Yes. Yeah, whatever's in here is strong. It's, it's very, definitely. It's very smart. Oh, I mean, yeah. It knows how to suck energy and mess up the cameras and... Caution. Caution. Why should I be cautious? Are you able to hurt somebody? What in the freak is that? <gasps> Are you back in the bedroom right now? Richard. Richard. What is that? Gene, come out and talk to me. Dude, that was so freaking loud.
Can you hit something really hard for me again, please? Oh, it's in here. I gotta move some equipment, okay? I can. No, I'm gonna do it. I hear you. I heard squeaking like on the uh, linoleum floor. Rocky and Josh are going to go to the cemetery, so I'm going to be at this house by myself. Josh, I am going to talk to the spirit to see if it knows about you. Because some reason it's really wanting to communicate with you. And I hope you don't have nothing following you. What the freak? <gasps> Who's walking? Are you in this room, yes or no? Jean, are you in this room? Tell me yes or no, please. Are you in Jennifer's room? Yes or no? Satanic. Satanic. No freaking way. Oh, the house. The house where the uh, pentagram and stuff was. Is that where Richard's from? The house with all the satanic symbols? Don't. Don't. Open. Don't open. What don't you want me to open? No. Don't open. And then that replied no. What don't you want me to open? She has guilt. guilt. She has stuff moving her closet. I have the closet door open. No way. Are you out there in the living room? Hello? Coming to get me. No freaking way. I hear you. Hit something really hard for me. Close. Close. I know you're close. I can hear you. Did you want me in here by myself? Am I in danger? It just seems lately, ever since that case, we've had a lot of things change, and we've had quite a bit of bad stuff happening, too. How many? Mitchell. Mitchell. Who's Mitchell? What's strange is you get... Follow. Follow me. Where do you want me to follow you to? Other side. I keep hearing you. What door did you say to not open? Are you in this bedroom? Okay, I have another camera that went dead. Jennifer said you moved stuff in this closet. Earlier today, you knocked some of these shoes off during the interview. <gasps> Whoa. Okay, right here, it's so freaking cold. Come up and touch my hand. 
In here. I know you're in here. I can feel you. Why is this room so freaking cold? I know it's strange why this freaking room is so cold. Or you don't feel like a draft or anything anywhere. Disagree. What do you disagree about? Close. You keep saying close. If you're close enough, can you touch me? Just a little tap. Doesn't have to be anything big. Please come touch me. Jennifer. Okay. Jesus. Holy. You just hit my camera? Do you not want us to film you? I hope the GoPro over there got that. Whew. Jennifer, are you still in this house? Old. Yes. It says yes and it says old. I'm going to leave my device here to talk to you, okay? Yes, that is a camera. Josh, I see you. No way. All right, so it's Rocky. I just came in here. Something just walked behind me. Um, what happened to me? You passed away. This thing just, when I was in the living room, just said that I see you. Not here to hurt you. The thing was like asking all kinds of questions when I just walked in here. Why did you come? I came here to help Jennifer to find out who you are. Device. Do you like the, all the devices that we've been using? Did you come from the house that had uh, pentagrams in it? Yes? This thing is crazy. Sarah. Sister. Who, who's Sarah? You a sister of somebody, Sarah? Are you affecting Jennifer? Yes. Do you want to bring harm to Jennifer? Did. You did? Why did you want to hurt her? Are you mad because she got angry with you? Are you back here? The thing is still talking. I think it just said haunted. Come on, camera. Focus. I'm gonna run the SV7. Starting to get cold chills on here. Shine. Hi, hi. My name's Rocky. Can you tell me your name? What is your name, the female that just spoke? Did you come from the cemetery with Jennifer? Let me shut that thing off. Let's go. No. Did you come from the abandoned house that had the famous stuff on it? Can you tell me your name? Sin. 
What do you want with Jennifer? Are you here to hurt Jennifer? No, I'm not going to go to hell. What's your name? You're a big man. No, I'm not leaving. That's so crazy. Did you die in that abandoned house? Who's affecting Jennifer? Are you ready to move on? Who's the female in the house? Give me your first and last name. Is your name Sarah? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. Are you here to harm Jennifer? Crap. Little kid. I was like trying to say, little kid. Is your body in the cemetery? Is your name Jonathan? Did you come home with us at the Breeze house? Are you attached to Josh? Ethan. Ethan. Alright. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, so, so chill. Are you with Ethan right now? Just said Ethan. Oh, really? Yeah. I asked, this is a messed up question. I mean, it, it just literally said Ethan. What, then? Um, the ghost tube. That ghost tube's going nuts. That thing never works for me. Yeah. And I'm like, as soon as I walked in here, that thing started talking. It said Ethan. Hello. And it said hello to me, and then I walked in. But um, it said Ethan. So I asked it, I said, are you with Ethan? And it lit up now, red. So I'm a little nervous right now. Josh and Rocky just left. They're heading out to the cemetery, and I have no idea how far that is or anything away. So I'm in here by myself, I'm gonna Go lock the front door so nobody comes in. We'll go through the fences, see that's the house. We won't get arrested. What is that light up? What is that light? Like? Oh, those are reflectors. Okay, I went to the right and I turned around and I faced that way. I gonna, I mean, there's a lot of stuff. See that gravestone? Right there. Are you out here with us or are you back at the house with Sean? Did somebody follow me home? Whatever we're dealing with is really freaking smart. If it can hurt us or what, I don't really want to find out. Josh and Rocky got some really good stuff in here when they was by themselves with the ghost too. So we'll just have to go back and listen to it and see what it says. Is there anybody in here in Jennifer's room with me? If you're in here, I got two alarms. One's in the closet. Can you set that off? Let me know if you're in there. I got a music box right here in front of me if you walk by it. Come on. I know you're here. 
You just gotta give me a sign. Can you move a door or something? Or knock on something? <gasps> right there. It's out here. I heard you. Thank you. Wait, I know where the rooms are, but... Okay, I heard you. I'm in the kitchen. Sound like you was out in this area. Can you do something again? I think I just saw a freaking black shadow. Holy crap. Okay. I thought I'd seen something come in here. Yeah, I got really, like, I got cold chills everywhere. Did I see you come in here? If you're in this room, can you climb up on the bed? I know you like to knock on stuff. Can you hit something? Let me know if you're in here. Man, I don't know if my freaking eyes playing tricks on me or what but I got this alarm set in here pretty positive I just seen something like crawling up on the freaking bed what was that can you touch me let me know that you're here with me I know you like talking on this device. Thank you. Scenes. So thank you. Are you, you happy I turned that on? Can you tell me what your name is? Did I see you? Come on, I know you're in here. Talk to me. Why don't you like messing with my alarms? I don't know, maybe it left. Alarm. No way. I just say, set it right here. And guess what's setting right next to it? To me. The alarm. And it keeps asking us what happened to me. But it's like when you come into this living room, it's where almost all activity is taking place for me personally. But it, it loves setting this alarm off. Are you here with us or are you back at the house with Sean? You can hit the car if you want. It's moving. Did you follow me home? What is your name? Footsteps. Holy crap. Happy. What are you happy about? Why are you so happy? Are you happy because I turned the alarm on for you? Nothing. You? Well, turn the, can you uh, touch the alarm? That's crazy, I walked through this house, the ghost tube, didn't hardly say nothing, but as soon as you come into this room. Jim. Who's Jim? Do you know where Rocky and Josh went? Can you tell me? Come on, don't stop talking to me. Laughing. I don't know why he keeps saying laughing. I mean, it said a, I think it was saying laughing when Josh and Rocky was in here by themselves too. 
Did you follow me and what is your name? True. Did Jennifer upset you last time you were out here? Am I, Am I dead? Oh. I'm sorry, but I think you are. I mean, it did say Thank it was... you. It did say it was a woman, so maybe she was wearing a dress. Are you messing with my alarm? You can pull energy from that. You're lightening up. Can you make it light up even more? Oh my gosh. Thank you. I, I mean, I got, my, I got shivers throughout my freaking body. Does that make you laugh when you're setting that off? Do you know, Let's laughing again. Why, why are you laughing? What's funny? Is it because I'm so scared? Walk back up to the alarm if you need energy. It'll make you stronger or you can talk to me. Footsteps. It's getting hard to breathe. And the alarm's going living off. <gasps> living room! Yeah, yep, I'm definitely in the living room. What should I do? Um, just keep talking to me. No way! Hold oh, my gosh. Oh, Lordy. Okay, it's fine to talk to me, but you cannot hurt me, okay? <gasps> Freaking light over here is going off, too. Oh, my gosh. Twice I had to come into this room, and it goes nuts. Now it's freaking boss me around telling me what to do. Whatever's in here is so freaking smart. How'd you get so smart? I had freaking this alarm going off. I had that alarm. I had it freaking re talking to me. Can you go back up to the alarm again? True. Nope. True. And what's crazy is I sat there and asked it. I said, can you freaking go? I was like, can you go up? up to that alarm because that will give you energy and it's like it got a big boost of energy and the thing is i don't like it because josh and rocky i can't even tell you how far away they are they're not even close to me I'm terrified right now but i'm gonna try something oh you're back you don't want me to move can you tell me your name while you're doing that, please? Oh, crap. What was that? Are you out there? Something just freaking touched my leg. Holy, was that you just touched me? Who's that? Are you telling me to nail down? Yeah, I don't like this. Can we talk about Josh? Can you come back out here and stay out here and leave Jennifer alone? Dude, I swear to God. <laughs> Rocky, let me see your camera real quick. Hold this mic like that. Granddaughter. The granddaughter? Am I your granddaughter? Drown. Did you drown? Can you hear me? What do I do? We want you to come back here. Leave we, me alone. We want you to stay here. This is where this is where you rest. 
watching. I thought I'd seen you. It looked like somebody was standing there and then like they just went away. Yeah, uh, I see stuff here, I'm telling you. Did you not like that? Did I make you mad? Can you go back to the chair? Make them numbers go up or down. Lights blinking on the chair. Can you move it? Move the chair for me. Oh, sh I definitely don't think I'm alone. Can you move the chair? Make it rock. Come on, don't don't walk away from the chair. I need you to move it. Talk to me. Talk to me, cause I'm sitting here moving stuff around. Okay, I am talking. You won't tell me what your name is. Tell me your name. Am I dead? I don't know. You tell me. I believe so. Living room. Living room. Holy shit, all the freaking lights are going off again. I'm not leaving the living room. You want me to... It's in front. Holy crap. So it, it's probably over by the chair. Johnny. Who's Johnny? Is that you then? You finally tell me your name and how old you are? I have to go back and listen, but I'm pretty sure he said he was in the 20s. Did you follow me to my house? Did. Oh, oh, did. Okay, we want you to come back here. You can no longer be at Jennifer's house. Whoa, what the hell? Hello? Sure. Say Sean. Now. Oh! Sorry, Josh. I'm breaking stuff. I'm just so freaking scared my hands ain't even working. Where are you at? Protect who? Are you trying to protect me? Who are you trying to protect? Are you still in the living room? Walk in front of that. That's the only way that is going to set it off. Here goes the light. That alarm goes off, and then now the light's going off. Did you follow Jennifer from the cemetery? Do you want to say anything to Jennifer before we leave? Do you have a message for Jennifer? If you were the woman that we were speaking with back at Jennifer's house, can you please tell us what you want? I just want to give you one more chance. I said no. Ooh. Freaking all alarms in the freaking living room are going ballistic right now. This is so freaking nuts. I need you to do something other than setting alarms off. Do something. Watching you. Yeah, I know you're watching me. You're scaring me. Is that what you're trying to do? I you... said no. <gasps> it's not. But how do I know if you're good or bad? How do I believe you? You keep saying you're not here to hurt nobody. But why are you here? What's crazy, all the alarms in the living room start going off and then the, the ghost tube talks. <gasps> I just feel a little safer in here. Help me. No, say my name. 
You don't even know my name. You're pulling energy out of the living room. So I know you can talk to me. Now say it. Sorry if I did anything to offend you last time I was here. I did not mean to. Okay, we're leaving. We're going to go back and check on Sean. Crazy. Here, hold on. Come in here. Now watch. Now we will talk. Say, ask us something. Stroke. Stroke. Did you die from a stroke? Is that how you died? Jonathan, are you still here? Set that alarm off. You're here with me still. Jonathan, talk to me. Come on, I know I made you mad earlier. Come back. You know how to get the energy. Closer. Invisible. You want me? Yeah, you back by the chair? You like that, don't you? Can you set the alarm off in the middle again for me? Jennifer's in the house. Hi. You want to Closer. Closer? I keep saying closer like over and over and over again. Do you want Jennifer to get closer? We come in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, we just pray that you watch over us during this cleansing and you keep us safe and that nothing attaches itself to us. Anything that may have attached itself to Jennifer when she was out at the cemetery, in the name of Jesus Christ, we command that you leave this house, leave Jennifer, leave Riley, and stop affecting this family. We want you to go back out to the cemetery where you came from. Lord, we just pray that you watch over Riley and Jennifer and you help them work on the relationship and you help Jennifer with everything that she's going through and just give her the strength in your name. And we pray all these things in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And I think what you have to do is just be aware yes. that you know your daughter's here for you yes, she and is. she's always stuck by you. And so when you get frustrated or you feel this negative tension, you know, try to channel that somewhere else and not take it out on her. And we seal this room with the sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, we command that you leave this house, you leave this property, and you leave this family. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. We seal this bed with the holy water, symbolizing the blood of Jesus Christ. Anything that's inside this house, in the name of Jesus, we command that you leave. It is Jesus Christ who has authority over this house now. Lord, we call on the Holy Spirit to come forward. Fill this darkness with the light of the Holy Spirit. Let there be no dark places for the evil ones to hide. The lady that we spoke with earlier, we want you to leave this house and go back to the cemetery and be at peace. You are no longer welcome here. We close all entryways, doorways, and portals that may have been open inside this house. We seal Jennifer's bed with the sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus Christ. Anything that may have been attached to Jennifer, whether you're good or evil, we command that you leave in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. It is Jesus who has authority over this house now. In the name of Jesus, we command that you leave. You will no longer affect this family. Lord, we just pray that you continue to watch over Riley and Jennifer as we leave and we move on to the next case and the next family. And you continue to help them work on the relationship and have them grow stronger. We pray all these things in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Amen. Amen. You're welcome. It was a pleasure Thank meeting you, you guys. It was a pleasure meeting you. Good meeting you, Riley.